Hi, St. Joan of Arc. Friends, families, relatives, members of our community, near and far, because this is the wonder of the internet. Brought to you by parishioners Jeff and Rita Noner. Um, isn't this all incredibly strange? Are you finding ways to connect with people you love? I'm finding that the internet is being used for pretty nice, lovely things by the circle of people on my feed right now, which is really heartening. So what do you think? Will we come out of this more compassionate, more connected? How are you doing right now? What is your prayer? What is keeping you centered or grateful? What are you afraid of right now? What do you love about your routine and what have you changed about your routine? I know that today I started cutting my own hair, but the Lord stayed my hand and I stopped that nonsense quickly. Um, and who knew that at this point in my life I would be a televangelist? This is very exciting. But seriously, I know how unsettling and anxiety-producing so much of this time can be. And I want you to know that we are holding you in our hearts, in our prayers. If there is something you need, if there is support that we can provide, please call our front desk or email any of the staff, and all of our emails are on the website. And please check in to our website because we'll be trying to add new contact, uh, new content as often as the knowners are willing to provide it. And specifically for this time, this is a reading by John O'Donohue that I have come to love and treasure. This is the time to be slow. Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, time will come good, and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. We hope that the present tense is good for you right now, and we hope that new beginnings are on the way. Blessings to you, St. Joan of Arc. <laughs>